Hey guys, welcome back to ADSR FMA Tutorials. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, get yourself subscribed. YouTube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. So we're wrapping up the arpeggiator feature with this tutorial today. And I'm just going to show you the arp sound using some of the stuff that we've learned over the last few tutorials about the arpeggiator and how to create sequences in this arpeggiator and pattern editor in here. Uh, and also how to kind of automate an arpeggiator sound using the morph matrix in here so just program some slight variations of this sound and just give us some nice kind of automation options so let's kick off create a, a new sound in FM8 and go straight for these operators here and I had on that sound there everything running through a filter so let's turn that filter on and root operator F through the filter for now and the volume can stay around about 79 80 and I'm going to actually going to use all six operators for this sound, so I might as well just go ahead and turn them all on. Operator E, root into the filter about 84. And let's make operator F a sawtooth wave, operator E a sine, and then take the ratio down to 0.25, so dropping it down a few octaves. And um, Let's just have a listen to the sound as we're kind of going along. Right then, operator D, going to have a sawtooth wave. Take the ratio to 0.25. Then root into this, this and root into the filter a similar volume, about 84. And let's take the volume of this filter right up. And open out that cut off for now. So you can hear the top end in the sound. Uh, operator D next, PWM ramp mod. as a waveform. And I'll drop the ratio to 0.5. And go about 70 on the volume. Operator B, going to use a square wave. Root this about 60 into the filter. And then take the ratio to 0.75. And finally, operator A, a sawtooth wave, 0.5 on the ratio. And about 60 on the volume and let's feed some of these operators back into themselves just to kind of grit the sound up a little bit and feed A into E now 28 B into F about 36, 37 ok so let's move to this master section next give the sound four voices just to beef it up detune some of those voices and pan them out really wide it's got this nice thick tone on the sound let's push this digital right up just crunching the top end a little bit and Let's go and set this filter up actually quickly. Set the cutoff down. It's around a quarter of the way up. And a bit of resonance. A bit of resonance on filter 2 as well. And let's use this envelope to control the filter. It's got this nice plucky envelope shape with a bit of release. And now if we turn the arpeggiator on that envelope is gonna a filter envelope is gonna keep re-triggering. So let's set up our envelope now. And I'm gonna use all 32 steps of this arpeggiator. And let's take the note length of this arpeggiator sequence up to 100. Mm -hmm. 
key sync it as well. Keep the, the ratio 1 over 16. And then let's start programming using the octave and transpose function is in here. Let's start programming our kind of a little bit of a riff. last one so just using the octave there I'm just creating it's just jumping up an octave here and there and then let's go to this transpose and just take that kind of technique one step further start creating quite an interesting sort of riff on the last two we've got a riff okay so we need to make sure we normalize the timbres in here so the sound gets converted this this arpeggiate or this so we're converting this patch into all four corners of this morph matrix so because I've got some automation going on within the morph matrix in here so Notice also this riff I've got playing. The sound staying in polyphonic. And actually start layering up chords to get an even more complex kind of ARP sound going. Which is pretty cool. So let's go and apply some effects to the sound now. Uh, Shelvin EQ, just boost some tops, peak EQ, a bit of high mids, a bit of low mids, and a low end as well. Put a flanger on there as well. It's quite an interesting vibe to the sound. Push up a bit of depth, colour, this dry work down a bit. Reverb, so it's going to work quite nice. The chorus as well. I'm actually going to use a chorus delay here, the delay on the chorus, so sync the delay. So the time up to about 76. Get some low cut out of that delay. Push up a bit of feedback. Hey, this dry wet down to yeah about a quarter of the way. So that's our sound set up. Just check that normalized timbres again. So the sound's converted into all four corners of this morph matrix, and then we can program a variation if we move over to this top right hand corner. Program a variation so. So in the top right hand corner we we've got it goes much deeper. It's more sort of like plucky, if you know what I mean. And then the top left-hand corner. And then what I can do, actually, to show you how quick it can be to set up some, some automation in here, is if we delete all this automation that we have in here. And 
And so top left hand corner of the morph matrix. Got a nice open filter, top right hand corner. We've got a kind of deeper sort of kind of sound. And then in the bottom right, I'm going to go for something a bit detuned. So I'm going to detune some of these ratios. 0.2470 Operator E 0.2554 Operator D 5054 Operator C And then bring Operator B down a bit as well So we've got this detuned sound now deep sound and then just the straight up ARP sound and then what we can do in here is convert the automation to latch playlist sequence through from the start go over to our morph matrix And then, as you could see a little bit there, it's just, and drop this down, it's kind of drawn in that automation, it's almost like recorded it really. Convert back to read, and now we've got that automation in there. So, I always rename these morph, morph matrix edits that we've applied in here. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed the feature we've done on FM8's Arpeggiator this month. Any questions, please get in touch and get yourself over to our website, fm8tutorials.com. Tons more tutorials on there, making various different sounds with FM8. And thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.